Got a story here out of uh, Los Angeles. Looks like a, a missing hiker's body was found in a park out there with his dog still sitting there by his side. The dog was alive. He was dead, but the guy had been missing for like two weeks and the dog was still there by his rotting corpse. That shows you how sweet and how loyal animals are. Far more than people. Hiker went missing two weeks ago up in Griffith Park. Now, if you've ever been to Griffith Park, and I have, you know, you got the Hollywood sign up there not too far away. You got the observatory, and you got all that wooded area. Griffith Park is a really good-sized park, but it's still damn near smack dab in the middle of Los Angeles. I don't know how you could go unnoticed for two weeks, but this guy did. He disappeared. Once again, I want to reiterate, that's a huge park. How big? Put it to you like this. They still do porn flicks and films and stuff up in that park. You bet. So I guess you could walk around up there and not see somebody, but how could you not notice the smell or the buzzards or, hey, there's a sneaker there with a foot still in it? How can you ignore the smell? I smell something that smells dead. Naturally, I want to see what's dead. Or Oscar Hernandez, who was only 29, he was reported missing back on March 16th. Well, they found his body the other night in a remote area of the park. His dog King was alive, but still there. Needless to say, and the family was with the cops. They were so desperate to find this young man, and I don't blame them. They were all out there looking, and the family is with search and rescue when they did find his body. And, of course, the first words out of the dog's mouth was, That damn time. Holy shit, what's it been, two weeks? I didn't think you fuckers would ever get here. This son of a bitch stinks. I have to keep resituating my bed in the place I like to lay just to stay upwind of his ass. Where the hell have you been? Now, listen, I was hungry out here. Y'all ain't going to need the toes in the funeral, right? Because I ate those. So, and the fingers, too. But you can put gloves on him. Nobody ever know that he's missing his fingers. I ate his extremities. Hey, bitch, don't start crying. I could have ate his head. I didn't eat his head, but I could have eaten his fucking head. Then you wouldn't. It had to be a clothes casket at your boy's funeral. Now, you're lucky. You should be thanking my ass, bitch. Would you uh, think a dog that just ate your kid? Probably not. Even if he just ate a finger or two, would that be okay? If he just snacked on your kid, would that be all right? All right. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a quality show. <laughs> Stan the Joke Man show on Spotify.